Okay, now here's a situation that I'm sure most people have found themselves in at some stage. You've got yourself a LiPo battery, but you've discharged it too much, and suddenly when you try to charge it, we'll go through LiPo battery and LiPo balance. Here we go. We wait, and the charger then says low voltage. Low voltage. What this is telling us, my phone stops beeping, what this is telling us is that the voltage of the battery is too low to be safely recharged because if you just sort of pour current into this thing it could go bang and that's not a good look because as we know lithium batteries can be quite pyrotechnic in nature so what do we do well there is a way to get around this the first thing is unplug your balance lead then select NICAD battery NICD and make sure you use the lowest possible current setting it so this is 0.1 amps it's as low as this charger will go then start the charge, like so, and you'll see it was down to 6.3 volts, which is way, way too low. However, if the battery wasn't left too long in this state, you may be able to recover it. It's quite amazing how resilient sometimes they are. What I'm going to do is charge at this very low current until the voltage gets up to around about 10 volts, or near enough to it. Once we've got over 3 volts roughly in the pack, then we can switch to the LiPo charge, but again, we need to charge it very gently, just in case there has been some kind of damage caused by the over-discharge. So I'm going to leave that ticking over. You see the voltage comes up pretty quickly. I'm going to leave that ticking over until it reaches, say, 9.9, 9.6 volts, which is 3.2 volts per cell. Right, now as you can see, it's reached 9.6 volts. It only took 14 milliamps to get there, and it took about 9.5 minutes. So what you do when you get to that stage is you stop your charge, you go on to LiPo, select balance charge, and make sure that your current is right down at 1C or even less. Don't charge any more than that. Plug your balance lead back in, and then start your charge. And it should successfully start charging. Here you go. Now, one thing to watch is just look at the individual cells and make sure that they're pretty close. This isn't too bad. Look, they're all 3.2-ish. Yep, so that looks like we haven't lost one particular cell. Sometimes you'll lose an entire cell when you over-discharge, but this one, pretty good quality battery, the, uh, the Lumineers. And so it seems that it's survived this. What I'll do now is I will completely charge it, and then we'll see how many milliamps it took to fill it up. You see the voltage is coming up pretty quickly now. So important though, do not leave this unattended at any stage of this process because if the battery has been fatally damaged, it could catch on fire. As we all know, lipos go bang, flames come out. So do not leave this unattended. Make sure you do your charging on. This is a concrete floor. So it's, even if it does go up, it's not going to set stuff on fire. Very important. So we'll come back later when this battery is fully charged and see how much of the 1300 milliamps we've been able to put back into it. Okay, so there we go. We've uh, got it full. Didn't take the full 1300 milliamps. It took 74 minutes. Um, but I think the cell... 70, this isn't quite calibrated right. There's obviously no really weak cells here. It didn't take too long to balance. The pack itself is a little bit... It's not hard. There's a little bit of puffing in there, which is kind of expected if you run them dead flat. That's really sort of... It does cause damage. Now this was overnight because I left it plugged in, didn't realise it came in in the morning and it was dead flat. So um, if, you, if you do flatten a battery below the safe charging level, then as soon as the battery is cool, if it's warm, that's when you want to stick it on the charger and bring it up like that. Don't leave it. Every hour you leave it contributes to the damage that's taking place inside the battery. Now this one, obviously, I wouldn't be using it for mission critical applications. It's probably got high internal resistance now, which means it will get hotter tend to puff more if you use it in a high current application. However, it'll probably work just fine in low current applications like your FPV goggles or some other thing that, you know, doesn't draw tens of amps. This battery will probably continue to provide a good long service life, but do keep an eye on it. Never charge it unattended because once the damage sets in, um, then it's far more likely to cause a problem later on. But there you go. So you can rescue a LiPo. And if you do it quick enough, you may get away without any damage. This has suffered a little bit of damage but uh, it will still be a useful LiPo, although I'm going to mark it with a big black cross to remind me that I just take extra care with it. If you've got questions, comments on this video, stick them 
in the place provided by YouTube. Sorry about the audio because I'm just using the built-in camera mic and it'll be all echoey as hell. Bye for now.